Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. I am Dr. Trupti and in this video we are going to learn about various specialized compounds derived from tyrosine. We know that phenylalanine and tyrosine are the aromatic amino acid. Phenylalanine is essential amino acid and this phenylalanine is hydroxylated to form tyrosine. There are various specialized compounds which are derived from this tyrosine. And the one important one is melanin. So this melanin is synthesized from tyrosine. Various catecholamines are synthesized from tyrosine like epinephrine, norepinephrine and dopamine. In addition to that, thyroid hormones T3, T4 are also synthesized from tyrosine. Synthesis of catecholamines from tyrosine involves synthesis of dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine. The synthesis of catecholamine is tissue specific because the production terminates with dopamine in brain and some parts of brain but in the adrenal medulla it terminates with epinephrine predominantly. However, epinephrine can also be synthesized in some parts of brain. So the precursor for the catecholamine synthesis is tyrosine. It undergoes hydroxylation reaction by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase which is the regulatory enzyme. This is the monooxygenase enzyme. It requires tetrahydrobiopterin as a cofactor. If this cofactor is deficient, tyrosine cannot be converted to dopa. NADPH is also utilized in this reaction. So in the first reaction of synthesis of catecholamines, dopa that is dihydroxyphenylalanine is formed. Second reaction is the decarboxylation reaction which is catalyzed by pyridoxal phosphate dependent enzyme dopa decarboxylase and in this reaction dopamine is formed. This dopamine is formed in the substantia nigra and some parts of brain. It is the neurotransmitter as well as it is the inhibitor of prolactin secretion. Now from this dopamine in adrenal medulla there is formation of norepinephrine by the action of enzyme dopamine hydroxylase. This reaction requires copper as well as vitamin C that is ascorbic acid. Further from the norepinephrine, epinephrine is formed by transfer of methyl group to norepinephrine by the active methyl donor that is S-adenosyl methionine. And this reaction is catalyzed by enzyme N-methyl transferase. And in this process from S-adenosyl methionine, S-adenosyl homocysteine is formed. Thus, in the adrenal medulla, norepinephrine and epinephrine are formed. Norepinephrine is also called as noradrenaline and epinephrine is called as adrenaline. The difference between norepinephrine and epinephrine is just a presence and absence of methyl group. Norepinephrine has no methyl group while epinephrine has a methyl group which is donated by S-adenosyl methionine. So this is how synthesis of catecholamines occurs from tyrosine. Now let's see how degradation of epinephrine occurs. Epinephrine has a very short half-life that is 2 to 5 minutes. It is acted upon by the enzyme catechol o methyltransferase to form Metanephrine. This is the transmethylation reaction where methyl group is donated to epinephrine by active methyl donor S adenosyl methionine and S adenosyl homocysteine is formed. So, in this reaction, metanephrine is formed. Then, this metanephrine by action of enzyme monoamine oxidase it leads to formation of vanadyl mendelic acid that is VMA. The normal VMA excretion. In urine is 2 to 6 mg per 24 hours, but this excretion is increased in conditions of pheochromocytoma where there is a epinephrine excess. This pheochromocytoma is a type of endocrine tumor that grows from the cells called chromaffin cells and this is the tumor of adrenal gland. VMA excretion is also increased in the neuroblastoma due to increased synthesis of norepinephrine. What are the various actions of epinephrine and norepinephrine? 
Epinephrine is released from adrenal medulla in response to flight, fight, fright, exercise and hypoglycemia. Both epinephrine and norepinephrine increase blood pressure. Epinephrine increases rate and force of myocardial contraction. It causes relaxation of smooth muscles of bron bronchi. It is anti-insulin in nature. It is responsible for increased glycogenolysis and it stimulates lipolysis. How estrogen affects the levels of dopamine? Estrogen decreases the tyrosine level. It increases transaminase activity and further it leads to increased degradation of tyrosine. It competes with the pyridoxal phosphate which affects the conversion of dopa to dopam dopamine. And this alteration of uh, dopamine level by estrogen are responsible for mood variations during menstrual cycle. Decreased levels of dopamine are associated with the neurodegenerative disorder that is Parkinson's disease and it is commonly seen in people over 60 years of age. It is also called as shaking palsy. What is the biochemical defect in the Parkinson's disease? Primary cause is not known but it is believed to be due to degeneration of cells of certain areas of brain like substantia nigra and locus ceruleus where the dopamine is formed. So in patients of Parkinson's disease the substantia nigra is diminished and there is decreased production of dopamine. The various clinical features seen in Parkinson's disease are tremors, pill rolling tremors at rest. The other characteristic features are muscular rigidity, difficulty in standing, walking, difficulty in initiating voluntary movements and the normal unconscious movements like swinging of hands while walking are either decreased or lost. What is the treatment of Parkinson's disease? As there is decreased dopamine, dopamine should be given but as dopamine cannot enter brain it cannot be given directly and that's why levodopa is given in the brain this levodopa by decarboxylation it is converted to dopamine however there is uh, the dopamine synthesis also occurs in other tissues from this levodopa and it results in the various side effects and that's why leodopa is given with the dopa analogs like carbidopa and alpha methyl dopa because these dopa analogs they inhibit dopa decarboxylase in tissues outside cns but these dopa analogs cannot cross blood brain barrier and that's why leodopa is given with the dopa analogs so this is the treatment of parkinson disease which is characterized by decreased dopamine level now let's see how synthesis of melanin occurs in the body. Melanin is responsible for color of skin, hair and eyes. And the skin color of the individual is determined by relative concentration of black and red melanin. And this melanin is synthesized in melanosomes present in melanocytes in deeper layers of epidermis. It acts as a natural sunscreen which protects skin from ultraviolet rays. So the substrate for melanin synthesis is tyrosine. In this reaction, dopa is formed from tyrosine by the action of enzyme tyrosinase, which is a copper containing enzyme. It is a monooxygenase. In the second reaction, dopa quinone is formed by action of same enzyme tyrosinase. Further, this dopamine undergoes non-enzymatic or spontaneous formation of leucodopachrome. And again from the leucodopachrome, there is formation of dihydroxyindol. This dihydroxyindol by action of enzyme tyrosinase leads to formation of indolquinone, indol 5,6-quinone. This is the regulatory step of melanin synthesis. And melanochromes are formed from these indolquinones which on polymerization they are converted to black melanin. And this is how black melanin is formed from tyrosine. Now there is another pathway from dopaquinone is also identified. Cysteine condenses with dopamine to form dopachrome 
and it is responsible for synthesis of red melanin both tyrosinase and tyrosine hydroxylase leads to formation of dopa from tyrosine so from tyrosine dopa is formed by tyrosine hydroxylase as well as from tyrosinase also dopa is formed and these both the enzymes add hydroxyl group to tyrosine to form dopa but by the action of enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase dopa is formed in the adrenal medulla which is responsible for catecholamine synthesis and by the action of enzyme tyrosinase the dopa which is formed is involved in the synthesis of melanin which is synthesized in the melanoblast melanin formation is altered in various clinical conditions and also in the copper deficiency because the enzyme tyrosinase it is a copper containing enzyme and because this is a copper containing enzyme if there is copper deficiency it leads to decrease formation of melanin then malignant melanoma melanoblast especially in the junctional nevi they multiply to give rise to malignant melanoma third condition is leucoderma when tyrosinase or melanin forming cells or both are absent from epidermis it results into white patches that is called as leucoderma then graying of hair it is also due to disappearance of melanocytes from the hair root and albinism in albinism tyrosinase is absent in melanocytes all over the body which is different from leucoderma where only white patches are seen in some parts of body albinism is a autosomal recessive condition uh, incidence is 1 in 20000 population in this condition tyrosinase enzyme is absent or deficient and it is responsible for decreased melanin synthesis all over the body skin and hair becomes white and skin becomes sensitive to ultraviolet rays and may show presence of nevi and melanomas fundus examination shows the hypopigmented iris the clinical features seen in such condition is photophobia nystagmus and visual acuity is also decreased there are various causes of albinism the most common cause is deficiency of enzyme tyrosinase there can be decrease in the melanosomes of melanocytes or the polymerization of melanin can be impaired there can be lack of protein matrix in melanosomes limitation of substrate that is tyrosine availability is also important cause and presence of inhibitors of tyrosinase can also lead to decrease melanin production and albinism but the most common cause is deficiency of enzyme tyrosinase thyroid hormones thyroxine and triiodothyronine that is t3 are synthesized from the tyrosine residue of the protein thyroglobulin and activated iodine so one activated iodine leads to formation of mono iodo tyrosine that is mit and when two activated iodine are incorporated in tyrosine di iodo tyrosine is formed that is dit then when one dit and one mit combines there is formation of tri iodo thyronine that is t3 and when two dit combines there is formation of tetra iodo thyronine that is thyroxine or t4 and then the protein thyroglobulin undergoes proteolytic breakdown to release the free hormones t3 and t4 so in today's video we have seen that tyrosine is a aromatic amino acid which is formed by phenylalanine and it is a substrate for various specialized compound for example melanin catecholamines epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine as well as thyroid hormones so i hope this video will be useful to you thank you for watching and happy learning